Are you ready? Wait for it. That had been your cue, Wendy. Okay, hold on, let me do it again. <clears throat> this is getting a little repetitive. We just had a video of our goats eating a branch that had fallen. Another one came down. This time it was out by our mailbox. It is fall, but it's leaves that are supposed to drop, not whole branches. Let's give this one to our girl goats.
The does made pretty short work of their branch. And I have to say, their table manners were a little better than the bucks. while we're over here near the doe pen. Here's a quick update on an elderberry that Wendy and I planted earlier this year. As long as we're in the mood to plant stuff, Wendy's got an elderberry. We're gonna plant it right here, kinda near the goats, hopefully far enough away from the driveway and the actual goat pen that it won't bush out too much and get eaten or trampled a little bit. I'm gonna cut it down every three years so that it grows back up so it's gonna stay shrubby. Okay, all right. The goats ate it. Our littlest goats aren't really deterred by this electric fence. They can squeeze through it or crawl underneath it. And it's hard to control what they'll eat out here. Clearly they like snacking on the elderberry plant. The leaves of an elderberry actually are poisonous, but fortunately for our goats, there wasn't enough of it there to really hurt them. This plant might grow back, we'll just have to see. Just watching our videos in the background, probably nobody noticed, but we do have a very large elderberry out here. And it does have some good sized clusters of elderberries on it. We didn't plant this one, so we don't know exactly the variety, but we think it's probably just one of the ornamental ones. Whoa. They all know where to go for their food, though, don't they? Mm -hmm. That's good. You trained them well. incentive program. <laughs> These goats don't need incentives. They're eager. Look at them. Look at them.
Let's go. Get in the box. Come on. The idea is to keep the big goats out and the little goats in so the little goats have a chance to get the special grain. That is a full line of goats there. Yeah, they're very bad and ornery, and they will crowd into this one. I don't know why. They like the other one. The little one. That is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. They all think something better is over there. <laughs> Even. Yeah, there's stuff down there. They just like the other side because they all think something good must be over there since everybody else is over there. They're not actually locked in the stall. The door is just closed. And once they're, they're done or they've had their full, once they've had their fill, they can just push right out of the door, at which point Striker and Lightning Bug can go on in there and, and get a little bit for themselves. Changing of the goats. Blue wasn't ready to stop. Hmm? You just like to hug. <laughs> you just looked. <laughs> Oscar. Oscar. They no, all think, all they doing all think there's something in there. There's nothing in there. <laughs> Are you ready? Wait for it. This time of year, with the shorter days, chickens just lay fewer eggs. Our quail, our new quail, are laying quite a few more eggs. The quail egg production has never been better. The quail eggs are mostly just for our use though. So this time of year, there's just no getting around it. I have to disappoint some of our chicken egg customers. I just recently replaced the chicken run roof, which had been a clear plastic, with this metal one. So that cuts down on the light a little further, which sort of depresses some of their um, stimulation for egg laying. I was hoping that the Christmas lights would compensate a little bit for that, but so far it hasn't really made much of a big difference. I do, however, really like the way it looks. It makes the space a little more joyful. And for me, that's just as important as having more eggs. <laughs> 